Alright, so today's vlog isn't exactly as fun or as exciting as uh, some of the other vlogs I may have put together. Uh, one of the reasons I mainly put this vlog together is kind of to break up the monotony of a lot of the, apparently hiking vlogs I put together. So I, uh, I also did commit to you guys and to myself to document as much of the journey in building vision products as possible. And this is just uh, one of those moments where I just, one, didn't film it that well, and two, it's just, um, it's part of the journey that I committed to sharing with you guys. And it's not exactly the most exciting, like I said, but it just shows that, for me at least, at least to inspire you guys and, you know, also a great thing for me to reflect on and look back at is you've got to be willing to do things that you don't normally do to try to build your dream. Because sometimes in the beginning, when if you don't have the talent surrounded around you, you've got to do a lot of things yourself, even though you're not great at it, but you got to do what you can to get by at the moment. So, anyways, without further ado, on to the vlog. All right, ladies and gents, another behind the scenes episode of Vision Paradox. This one is a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing something I call a small business run. Today I'm gonna be doing, um, stopping by a lot of the small businesses around the area. You know, I, I am starting to discover that I thrive better in person with one-on-one -on -one communication. And, I'm, and I wanna try to leverage that by going to these small businesses, see if I can talk to the owners see what value we can do in working together, see how where it goes from there, whether we set up an actual one or two hour meeting and they become a client or if they're interested right then and there, we have we have a sit down and things happen. So, um, or if you know, they don't become a client. So either way, I'm just putting in that work to make Vision Paradox have this to get there, I believe is doing this because I feel like I ran off for me, it feels like it's the right thing to do. I could do emails, I can do all that stuff. I mean, that's probably thing, one of the things I'm gonna do. I have a list of people to email, but I just haven't leveraged it. I should probably leverage that. <laughs> all right, one of the first stops I'm going to is I'm following up with one of the uh, the Pilates place I stopped by last Friday. Uh, see if they got the email I sent them, see if the owner got it and see if we can get a dialogue going. Yeah, and I'm probably not gonna be able to film any of these meetings because I just want to respect them and I don't want to impose or, or invade too much of their space, especially since I'm just trying, some random dude trying to sell them right off the bat. So, okay, that place is closed. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back for that later. Okay, moving on to, I was intending to try to help every single business, but you know, I think, I think an hour before I left, I decided to uh, research the businesses instead to see what they really needed because I wanted to make sure that I, I well, the things they talked about were relevant to them and I'll, I'm probably not going to be able to hit every single one on the list but I did make a, a list of uh, the things that they they are doing well things and the things that they desperately need help on and I think that's where I could bring the value to them most because the process of it and I've been, something that I've been wanting to do for the past few months um, maybe less than that I feel like it's like the the process of sitting down and meeting uh, the potential client and uh, you know whether they become one or not I enjoy that process of talking to them and, you know discovering what's possible for them in that conversation that part is what excites me I'm not worried about whether I re get rejected or not because I I'm not just to be straight up I mean, it'll suck, but you move forward. And, uh, you know, it kind of reminds me when I was a little, like, you know, when I was in my early 20s or, you know, late, late teens, like when I was 8, 9, 20, and I was tired, going out clubbing, trying to build up my confidence and talking to girls. So the best way that, you know, I kind of went about it is, you know, fail forward, so to speak. You just put yourself out there fail as much many times as you as you can you possibly can and refine your approach every single time you know don't fail 
for the sake of failing and not change your approach. Fail with the intention of getting better every single time. And um, that's what I'm essentially aiming to do with this, whether we get uh, the client or not. I'm just going to continue refining the approach. And then this goes with, you know, cold calls, I think, are the things I really don't like doing because it's, you know, not everyone likes cold calls. Emails are easier to do because you can share, like, it's, I, I think, and, but also the least personable. So, uh, but you can definitely do things faster th that way. So that's something I, I might, I probably might be doing. I almost feel like, you know, this is more time consuming and the more time invested into it, people people might just appreciate that so here's what I'm gonna do there's a couple places that already that are already have an online presence that I saw and there's a couple places that I see two places that I see that I think uh, if I do a little bit of research real quick I'll get an idea of where they're at some of these places might not be open right now which is a concern so that means I'll, I might have to stop by next next Wednesday and the later part of the afternoon and I'm gonna do a quick quick research stop real quick. Two of the multiple businesses we're gonna hit. The, 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 the bonus is that these weren't on the list that I originally wanted to get. Um, these are additional ones that I overlooked just looking at the map uh, on, on Google Maps, but the first one is closed, probably open, it's like 1 or 1 o'clock, 1 or 2 o'clock right now, so it, um, it makes sense. But it's looking like the best way is probably have to get it again through emails, but you just, you never know. So I'm just going to give it, keep going, I'm trying to get that initial conversation started, and whether it works or not. I think today is a good, good content for a vlog. So, here's. <laughs> process of it you know and get it I like the face uh, face to face kind of stuff a lot better you know it, it is more efficient and uh, faster to do emails but the meeting the people especially the people that work there you get the feel for the business you get the feel of the environment you get to you get a little bit of taste uh, compared to just email where it's very far you don't know what exactly how they're operating it and you don't get to see the tonality and there's a lot of things missing from that you know this, uh, this is what I was meaning by failing for you know there's the, the the beginning of the game and then the middle of it because that, that's a lot of stuff that you, that's unpredictable and going through this kind of uh, makes me uh, have to evolve quickly or even when, if I decide to do this again I probably might um, it makes me think okay these, uh, what's the next step when this happens you know because you know like, it's not like I do this on, on the daily this is something I, I don't normally do when these uh, when certain resistances come up what are questions that I can come, that I can ask or things that I can say to help break through that resistance like make them think differently because I know on that end I think I uh, just reviewing it right now um, I, I think I said no too quickly and I could have easily went to like okay well what about your website or well, how about, how are you guys using Facebook ads you know things like that um, you know it's always good to reflect on on you know after the gameplay you know I'm doing this 
play by play, you know, every stop. It would probably be more efficient to do it like once I'm all done, but um, got a couple more places I want to hit up for, for, for the next half hour, then I'm gonna head back home, uh, do a little bit more work on some accounts. Okay, let's keep going. 2.30 ish, heading back home. Not too bad of a day. You know, hit up about 11, 10 or 11 small businesses. Met with two. So it's an all numbers game. Not all, uh, whether it's email or how I spend, I send like hundreds of emails and I get like even like five or 10 responses. It's a numbers game. You just gotta keep plowing through, plowing through. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. It's an interesting, interesting kind of experience. So, who knows, I might do it again. Anyways, I'm not home. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Very different content. Hope it's entertaining when I put this together. Anyways, catch you guys later.